Hello everyone. Um, I got to do some planting today. I can't wait no more. The 10 day forecast, there's nothing below 27, 28 degrees at night. And I'll have the hoops uh, for those uh, below zero days for the lettuce and the ranunculus. I'm doing the lettuce. This is the Salanova head lettuce. Um, and it can take some pretty cool weather. So I'll put the hoops over it and a protective cover. And uh, But uh, I'm going to get started getting these in the ground. I still need to get my knee pad. I'll probably be sitting more than kneeling because <laughs> my good old knee. Uh, but these needed to be in the ground. We have a good 10 day forecast and uh, if it gets way, way cold again, if we get a real cold snap again, which is possible, I can double, uh, double the uh, cover on them. I'll double it up uh, to keep them safe as I can. <laughs> and uh, so this is for the lettuce and I'm gonna get moving. They're supposed to be about 10 to 12 part, uh, inches apart um, because I think they will get big and they'll form lettuce heads. And um, I've got uh, my next 12 um, that are just coming up now. They've got a couple leaves on them. So they are nice and looking nice. And once we harvest these, then in a couple of weeks, we can harvest the next ones. Here we go, guys. take long quick quick and I got the hoops up ready for the cover I'm not going to cover them <clears throat> unless it gets really cold at night so they will be okay <clears throat> we hope they'll be okay now I have a story about the ranunculus okay number one you know it's always fun to get your ranunculus started and uh, you know we all want to do that but I decided that uh, in the basement of my house is not a good place once they sprout uh, some of them did okay but they got real leggy uh, some of them rotted and when when I, I checked the uh, when I check the the dirt, it's like they just completely rotted away. So, uh, but I had a lot. I had 75, and I was fretting on what I was going to do with them all. I knew I would find a place for them, but right now I don't know for sure what I have left. But uh, they're going to go in the ground today. Um, I know it's not supposed to go in till middle of March, but clear up to the 10th we've got pretty nice weather and I can cover them so uh, anyway um, we've got a couple nights where it's only going to get 45 and uh, but if it gets below freezing if it, it, if it says it's going to get to like freezing I'll come out and, and cover them at night and then open them back up when the sun comes out the next day so uh, but um Next year, I should have my, I know I'll have my greenhouse next winter. 
So um, if I start them early, we'll see how they do in the greenhouse. They should do a lot better in the greenhouse. But I'm still going to wait. I'm going to wait until February to sprout them and uh, do it a little better. I might try sprouting some a little early like I did this year, like in Jan end of January or middle January, whenever I did that. Um, and see how they do in the greenhouse. Um, but for the most of them, I'm going to wait till February. So uh, I don't stress them out too much because these are pretty stressed. But um, they all have claws. Uh, they have uh, roots, I'm assuming. <laughs> and uh, they feel like they, you know, I can't just pull them, pull them out. You know, you can tell when they're rotted. You just pull them right out without a struggle. So, uh, but anyway, these, these are the ones that kind of made it. So I'm going to plant them all. And uh, hopefully they will be pretty and have some buds in a month or so. so let's see how they do. Let me see if I can't get you. Oh, we got a good picture of the... Start down here, and I probably won't need all those hoops. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put them kind of close together. So let me get my. Everything else is doing pretty good. I just wish I had my greenhouse up. up. That may not even be how I'm going to place them. I may just bring them out to here. Make a little bed for them. Oh, this dirt is so nice. See how many we can get in there.
How's that? I don't have this one. Yeah. Them are some nice, nice brush bands. That way you can see better. Yes, these all have really beautiful roots.
lot easier. This ground should be pretty good fertilized pretty well. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. Well, there you have it. I got it in. I got the ranunculus all in. I still didn't count how many. I don't know. Three, four, five, six. Six and six is 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, about 30, so or probably 32, 34, something like that. But uh, that's okay. That's easy t easier to handle than 75 because you do have to cover them in the spring because we just know we're going to have some weather that they're going to need covered at night. So it's uh, and I had just I had one hoop left over, so I did that pretty good, and I think they'll be happy right there and it will it won't bother me getting uh, uh, my uh, dianthus in here and uh, some other things that i want to put out here pretty soon the lilies hopefully be coming up before long and uh, i'll just give this a little bit of in a couple days, because those ranunculus, some of them were so, so soaking wet. Um, I, uh, so I, I, I just want to wait a day or two and just let them relax, and they're going to be just fine. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to water them in. I'm just going to leave them and see how they do. If they start to perk up, great. If they start leaning over, then I'll give them a little shot of water. But I think they'll be all right. And the lettuce, I may give that a little shot of water because I let them dry out before I put them in the ground. So I may give them a little shot of water before I go in. And uh, they're all fertilized. So, and actually this is very fertile soil we put in here. So. I don't even know if I really needed it or not, but I just put it in anyway. They'll be good for, you know, probably until they're ready to pick. So they should be good. And anyway, I got the strawberries out here. This went through a, a very, very cold night and day, two days of very cold, icy weather. Um, so I may dig some of these out and put them in. But right now, I'm going to take a break. I think I'm going to take a break. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. How about that? And I'll, um, I'll get the claw instead of this big old honker dog of a tripod carrying it around. So, hope you all are having a great day. 
and uh, I'm so happy to be back outside. I just need to get my knee better. I go to the doctor tomorrow, so uh, we'll see what he says. He'll probably, I don't know if he'll drain it or uh, what. It just depends on if it's got a lot of fluid in it. I think it does. It's probably swollen up right now. <laughs> so I just wanted to get it done because if he drains it, I want to be able to take a few days and just uh, not do, not get on it too much. So that's the only way it's going to heal. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys. Almost all the way down there. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I hope it's okay. We'll see. Oh. Ooh, it's not good to bend down my knees. Mm. But. <clears throat> the red necklace. can't get it up but <clears throat> I looked in there and they were there was one that was just flat out on this side and this you know this isn't as thick as this but as long as I have a few I'm not going to complain this year because I messed up or it was kind of an experiment we could say for basement ranunculus the ranunculus didn't like the basement I think it might like a greenhouse better so next year I won't do them all early I'll do I'll take like 12 and do them early and then the rest of them I'll uh, do later and uh, not plant them until oh late March let them grow a little bit in the greenhouse and see how the greenhouse does here <clears throat> but see it's sunny over here where the greenhouse is gonna be it will get some good Sun in the afternoon even in the winter because that Sun is starting to come that Sun is starting to come and it will be over here in the summer it'll change and go this away in the winter it goes this away but with no leaves on the tree in the winter time it will get some good sun and warm up nicely it should <clears throat> so we had some good rain last night i'm not sure how much but I'm pretty sure this is a sedum. And uh, it's coming up. But it's still early. It's still early. By the end of March, <clears throat> end of March or first part of April we'll probably have tulips and and stuff so because they're coming up pretty good I'm gonna go around here and check them out I did get out yesterday real quick and I put some uh, seed starter I just topped it off with seed starter mix and put some alyssum in it I don't know if it'll grow very well but I put plastic over it and it's ca causing a lot of condensation in there <clears throat> but we'll see if it grows and I put some dahlia seed in the middle and uh, I should have wet the uh, soil before I put it in because it just kind of uh, um, when I watered it, it just kind of made a puddle in there, hay, 
you know, I have plenty of seed. I can always throw more seed in there later if I don't see any sprouts in a couple weeks. So, but yes, we've got a lot of a lot of stuff coming up in here. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. And I can't wait to see what this is going to look like out here. I'm going to take some. I need to get some more limestone. <clears throat> it's native of Kansas, but um, get some more limestone. And I'm going to take it from that tree to this tree. And just make an oval right here. And... Uh, I don't know if I'll plant up some other things in here for uh, for summer. I may do that. I have a caraspus there. I have a caraspus right there and a caraspus right there. And I do have hostas in here too. I think I left some hostas in here. I think I left a couple in here. I'm not sure now. <clears throat> but um, and uh, I may put some more uh, more upright flowers in here just to have some nice summer blooms and the rose I'm hoping it will bloom this year it didn't last year it just came up last spring after we dug this all up and did it over and did it again so but it came up and <clears throat> so I got a trellis for it it leafed out but it didn't bloom last year so hopefully this year it will there's another receipt from somebody um, and then in here since I'm not doing um, the ranunculus in here I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these big barrels. Um, I'll find something pretty. I have plenty of plants, plenty of flowers, and uh, <clears throat> and the reason I did a lot of flowers and did several of them is that if one dies, I can put I can trade it out with another one so I have backups and I'll plant more flowers too probably in another month once I start feeling a little better but uh, anyway that's it for today I'm glad that my ranunculus some of it is doing just fine it seems perky and handled the cold last night I may have to cover them again, over again double cover them uh, next week it's supposed to get down to 13 degrees at night but that's no big deal I'll just take one of my big new sheets and cover it real good and this too the lettuce <clears throat> I was thinking this lettuce could take some uh, pretty cold weather but just on the safe side I'd rather cover it and uh, save it some stress if at all possible it was looking good but I tell you I've got more coming so if it doesn't make it um, mainly the reason why I got them out is because we needed to get some out of the house and uh, we haven't been able to get the greenhouse up yet so uh, I'm hoping maybe this weekend it's supposed to be 70 degrees on Sunday and I'm hoping that we can get it up um, Sunday so <clears throat> we hope that comes along real good should be fairly easy to put up the video in the instructions, the review said the instructions were very good, and there's a video on it on the 
site of purchase and uh, it was very uh, precise it was very it was a very good okay it was a very good video so very detailed that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's it. That's it's kind of nice out. It's like the sun is shining. It's uh, muddy, but it's uh, it's breezy, and it's probably about 45 degrees, maybe, maybe a little, almost 50. <clears throat> but the breeze is a little chilly. I came out in a sweatshirt, and I decided to get a. Uh, stocking cap and a, a light jacket so <clears throat> anyway you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching